Hello, Swami Gang Gang. We're continuing our adventure in Baldur's Gate 3. Last episode, we left space and Bald Yankee Guy was ready to chop our heads off. Lysel couldn't even get a full sentence out, and he was ready with the insults. He called Lysel a Hasharlag, which means traitor in Githyanki. Shout out to the narrator, because she called out what I thought the whole time. No matter what the outcome was, they were going to kill Lazelle and I, no matter what. So really, who betrayed who? Because everybody's betraying everybody. Unfortunately, I suffered my first L, so I decided to run it back, and I pretty much said, I'm telling Tav's hot girlfriend what y'all did to me. She's going to get y'all. And we also brought a star in because I was feeling pretty petty. You know, bringing a star in is a win-win. You know, a star in can snacky snack with no limit, and I can keep my blood for the day. Everyone's happy. The only thing I changed this time around was I was just a bit more sassier to the undying lying queen. And I convinced Lazelle that her queen is lying to her people. Kinda. She said I was either telling the truth, or I have mastered the art of deception. Both are correct, but honestly, I'm telling her the truth. We went back to where we originally started, and same bald Gith Yankee dude was waiting for us so that he could chop our heads off. This time around, we won. And for a split second, I thought Lazelle was about to have her moment of clarity. But no. She's still in denial, but I think the seed of doubt is planted in her mind. It just needs a bit more time to flourish. But from here on out, the Githyanki has labeled us enemies and will hunt us down until we are all dead. So I really hope my dream visitor is right, because we definitely burned whatever bridge that was. And that's pretty much it. You're all caught up now. We need to leave. Now, listen, I, I know we handled ourselves pretty well back there, but that's not even half of how many get the Yankee are down here. Oh my god, I forgot about the fucking wolves. Well, it's actually a good thing Shadowheart's not here. She would have been terrified. You know, I got a little something something for them. Finally got a good reason to throw this now. Oh, don't whine now, wolves. If you want to eat us, you gotta go through fire. Worst case scenario, Karlik has to take multiple trips carrying us on her back through the fire. That's worst case scenario over here. I think they want more. I think they want more fire. Can I throw? I can actually throw it at them. Shadowheart, sense of regards. Oh, let's go. Uh oh. Uh oh. Don't act like you didn't see that coming. We made eye contact when I threw the first one. Yeah, this is about to be a shootout. Trip attack? Were you trying to trip her from range? You suck. You're gonna have to do better than that. You're gonna have to go through the fire if you want us. You ready for this? Go through the fire. You already know who I'm going to. Carlac. Just a little guitar solo right there. No big deal. Do all get the Yankees like music? We're about to find out. Bone chill. Burr. Oh, I forgot they teleported. Ah! Oh, shit was so scary. Oh, you made me drop my crossbow. Oh. <laughs> I'm telling you, those wolves can't teleport. Oh, wow, that one just ran around. Yeah, that's always a smart one when it's a pair of two. Oh, Astari, this may be a rough day for you. And you're just seeing this now? Really? Who the fuck out of my way? Then bleed them dry. Yes, Lazel, now you're starting to get it. What's Smite? Ooh. <laughs> we like that. You see, Tab, they're not that scary. Let's go, Lele. Lacerate. Ooh. Yeah, they they gonna die. <laughs> they gonna die. We go sweet. <laughs> no, Kylo, it's Hasharlak. I mean, if you're gonna say it, say it right. Action Surge, let's go. Medicine, because it's medicine. Taste my like fury. You know, for one shadow heart, we'll be proud of you, Lazel. You gonna go again? Oh, don't make that sound like you're the good guy. No, 
like a push the wolf. Pretend he's Bing Bong. Have fun burning to death. Uh. Yeah, I should have expected that. Uh. <laughs> oh my god, okay. You're really avoiding that fire now, are you? Okay, tab, pick up pick up your weapons that you dropped. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, we probably need to change your pants because you probably just shitted yourself. <laughs> You know, Astarian would have joined you, but since he doesn't eat, he can't shit. So, I mean, it's fine. Everything's fine. I need healing. Now! Astarian, you barely got touched. This is for Lazelle. She needs it more than you do. Um, where is she? Oh, yeah, she's on the ground. <laughs> You're doing amazing, sweetie. No weapon, no problem. Bone chill. Not gonna lie, Astarian, that was pretty sick. Oh, God. Oh lord, he's eating Lazo. Why would you teleport into the fire? That is the <laughs> dumbest thing I've ever seen. How dare you? She's a nice lady. <laughs> How can you not like her? I'm gonna shoot at her. I'm gonna shoot at him. Ah <gasps> oh, fuck! I miss. That makes me mad. Lay selling even fucking face. Make way. Oh come on, Lazel, oh. come on. I know what you're trying to do. Come on, push her! Push her! Aw. That would have been so cool. Where are you going? Really? You really thought shooting her was the best idea. You just made her more mad. When Shadowheart's not here, I am the healer. So, here you go. That's the best I can do. Sorry, I'm not a cleric. Still no weapon, still no problem. Boom, chill. That's working for you, Astarian. Keep it up. Ah. What? What did she just do? Ah. Oh my god. Blaze, are you gonna let her push you like that? Don't worry, Carlock's got it. Boom! Alright. Everyone's okay except Blaze, Don't worry, girl, I got you. Uh. Oh, I hit the wrong button. I wasted one little potion thing. I sent it all to Lazel. Eager for battle. Not not now. You need to heal. Just take it until you replenish all your health. There you go. All better? There you go. Anybody else need some? I need healing. Now! Okay, calm down. Okay, we do need to get it out of a restricted zone, so hopefully we don't run into any more get Yankee. Tab focus. It is a dragon egg mushroom. It's not an egg. Okay, we're almost there. See so you get past the quarters. Tav. Oh. Yeah, sure. Go go see what they have. They don't have anything useful. Okay, almost there. Whew! Okay, now let's get the fuck out of here. Like, get the fuck out of the crush. Whew! Okay. Let's go back to camp. Okay, I feel so much safer here. We did take a long rest because it was an emergency. And, um, we just need to check up on Lazelle. I don't think she's okay. Lazelle, how are you feeling? I am Vlacket's most loyal servant. She will not abandon me. Oh my god, it's worse than I thought. Lazelle, you need to set this one out. Are you sure that's the best course of action? Mental health is important, Lazel. Confirmed. Until then, I remain at the ready. Rest up, Lazel. Gail, I need to apologize for misleading you last time. It was mean, and I'm sorry. Walking freely out of a Githyanki crash. A miracle if ever I've seen one. And trust me, I've seen quite a few. Come on, Gail. I mean it this time. With pleasure. Lead on. Gail, did you bring your book with you? Put the book away, man. I need you to focus. You're in the party. You got to run and read at the same time. Wow, that must be a really good book. Did you find a good stopping point and put the bookmarker in between? Oh my god, he's still reading. <laughs> Gail, put your book away. I was told to walk because Gail can't run and read at the same time. I think he finally put the book away. Oh, just kidding. Your shadow gave it away, Gail. Just because I turned my back doesn't mean I can not catch you reading. Are you finally done? Nope, he's not. I saw I saw the book in the corner. <laughs> Welcome to the cable cart. Please keep your hands, feet, and books in the cart. You're not even in the cart. Gail? Oh my god. 
I'm about to take your fucking book game. Seriously, what could you be possibly reading that is so important right now? This is exactly why I don't take you anywhere. I can be cliche too, you know? I'm a bard, y'all wanna hear music? <laughs> That's what I'm good for. <laughs> we don't even have time, like, we're already here. I swear to God, Gail, are you learning spells on the go? Is that what you're doing? Are you like reading how to do spells? You better be learning how to do awesome spells. Gail, I just saw what's in the book. You're looking at blank pages. <laughs> You're not even reading. What? Gail didn't even roll because he's not even paying attention. Thank you, Astarian. Thank you for telling me that there's traps. There's a trap. What is over here? Why are there so many traps? What the fuck is that up there? Gail! You gave me a fucking heart attack, Gail. Why would you walk up to the trap? You know, for someone as smart as you, Gail, that was pretty dumb. Great, now we got ghouls after us. Thanks a lot. I guess we're heading closer to the Shadow Cursed Lands. I think this is what Halzen was talking about, how dangerous it is. I think we're about to find out. Firebolt. Yeah, good job, Astarian. This one's named Ghast. Not Ghost, Ghast. <laughs> Oh! Oh my god, I know why he's named Gas now. Alright, Gail. Let's, let's give this one a try. I don't think that's what people mean when they say cast fireball. Come on, Carly. You got this, girl. Come on. Boom! You're so strong, I love it. Hey. Was I standing right there? I'm so sorry. Oh god. Yeah, I deserve that. I'm sorry. Death Shepherd. What is that? I guess we're gonna find out, aren't we? Oh, so there's two. There's two Death Shepherds. I need to redeem myself. I just made my girlfriend mad. Okay. Let me get the Death Shepherds. Nice. Did, did I do good, Carla? You know what? I'll do you one better. I'll, I'll give you a buff. Happy? Yes. Yay. God, here they come. Yay, the fireball's actually helping. What can I do? I can ram? Oh, heck yeah. Ram! I love it. Can I ram again? Aw, it only gets one turn. You're attacking the fireball. Don't think that's wise. Okay. Why, hello. Nicely done. All right, what are you gonna do? Why would you do that? Oh my god, he paralyzed Scale. Um, um, who do I need to go after? I, I plenty of options here. Okay, let's go for him first. Yep, we're, we got him out of the way. Um, reckless attack. This guy. Nicely done. You can, oh, we got one more attack. Let's do it. Finish him. That's my motherfucking tank right there. What are you gonna do? No rest for the wicked. Oh! No! You gonna do it too. Great. Just great. Just, just fucking great. I know what I'm about to do. I don't know why I'm doing this, but you probably need it. Let's see what this does. Oh god, don't run over another trap. Oh god. We're fine. We're fine. She barely took any damage. You have bones? Chill it! Oh, we missed. I'm gonna need you to back the fuck up. There you go, Astarian! Oh god. Critical hit kill! <laughs> this gonna be a rough day for you, Gale. Carlac, new target. You got the big boys. Ooh. Let's go, Carlac! Let's go! Okay, go again. Go again. Keep going. Keep hitting him. Keep hitting him, Carlac. Come on. Keep hitting him! Damn it! Okay, that was really good. That was really good, actually. Gail, less poetry, more staying alive, please. Because you're paralyzed and can't do anything right now. Ooh, you got a clicky click sound. Oh, I thought he was going after Gail. I was like, you can go after a star, and he's gonna dodge and weave every time. Oh, that was big. 
That was big right there. I can only do so much scale. Oh, you got lucky. You got plus eight on that. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, God. Okay. Oh, Carlac. Oh, she's fine. She took two critical hits and her damage just went down a little bit. Fireball. Oh. Oh, God. How do you. How do you paralyze someone who was already paralyzed? Just how? Bye bye. All right, the big guy's over there. I'm gonna get this guy while he's low. Yeah. Oh, all right. You asked for it. Yeah. Bye bye. So dramatic. Oh god. Oh, fuck off, dude. All right, I'm trying something new here. Cloud of daggers. I gotta place this rightly so I don't hit Carla. There we go. Ooh, that looks cool. I summoned the flame blade. Half the time I forget I have this. Come on. <laughs> Critical miss. Oh fuck, she's paralyzed. I actually need her. It's all right, Astarin, you could step up, right? That, it was worth a try. Gale's gonna fucking die. He's taking crit hit after crit hit after crit hit and he's paralyzed. I can't do anything. I can just push him. How can I push someone if I'm paralyzed? Oh, So depressing. We're gonna, we gonna be at this for a while. Okay. Okay. Tav, we need to step up. At this point, I'm insane, because I still try to keep helping Gale, even when he's paralyzed. Yeah. Good lord. Oh my god! This is just oppressive. Oh, nope. Come on, Astarian, I need you. Let's go! Disengage, Astarian, this is getting way too crowded. Oh, let's go. Oh, this, this should be good. Gale, all you've done was create a fireball. And been paralyzed this whole time. I can't do anything with him. All right, Carla, come on. Come on, babe. Boom! Let's go. They're so dramatic. All right, let's get this guy. God! <laughs> Keep going, Carla! Keep going! I ain't even mad. That that was amazing. Don't you fucking dare. <laughs> come on, Tav. Come on, Tav. I need you to clutch up. I need you, bud. Come on. Let's go! We got that one, two! Well, we quick with it. We're like, pop, pop. Oh, this is promising, though. Mm. Come on, Astarian. Come on, bud. You're my, you're my sharpshooter over here. I say that and I fucking miss. I need you to lure them over here. We need to get them through. Oh, my God. Some healing for a wizard in need. How many crit hits are you gonna take, Gale? You're practically dead. This is just unbelievable. Come on, come on, Carlac. Yeah, let's go. Come on, get this guy. Let's go, Carlac. What fools these mortals be? Are you not paralyzed? Finally, Jesus Christ. Okay, let's um, let's go ahead and take care of some wizard business. There you go. See, when, when you're actually in action, you're useful, Gale. My, let's fucking go. <sighs> that felt like an eternity. Are you in a stink cloud? What's on your mind? Gale, I can't see you, man. I need to get out. That, that is disgusting. All right, y'all, let's come over this way. Astarian, get him. I'm gonna fucking kill this man. Get him before I kill him. Welcome back, Gale. Come on. You need to get away from the cloud of death. Leave him. Leave him at this point. <laughs> Still alive. So that's progress. Yeah. Can't say the same for Gale over there. Okay, let's see what these people have on them. Okay, it says, Duke Ravengard is to be delivered 
unharmed or mostly so immediately. Do great. That's Wolf's dad, right? Holy shit. Moonrise Towers cannot fulfill its destiny until the Duke has been delivered. Those who succeed will be rewarded. Those who fail will face first my wrath, then Gortesh's, then mine again. General Kethrick Thorm. Oh shit. Wait a second. Gortesh? Why does that sound familiar? Oh shit! Is Gortesh the dude that sold Karlak to Zariel? Oh my god. I think I just found out who two of the three baddies are in this game. Gortesh is one of them. Ooh. <laughs> oh, this got interesting real quick. The Absolute's forces have taken Duke Raven Guard to Moonrise Towers. A powerful asset. Just what are their intentions, I wonder? Yeah, that's cool. I'm sure we'll figure that out. But how are you glossing over the whole Gortash stuff right now? I am freaking out right now. Broken. Need to find another way. Damn. Alright, I guess we'll go this way. Yeah, I'm mad at Gale right now. I know he's over there. I don't want to get him. I really don't. He's really pissed me off. I'm going back to camp. You know what? I heard if Gale dies, there's a cutscene that happens. I would like to see that cutscene now. Like, I think he's bluffing about this world ending orb in his chest. Apparently, it's just maybe like only blow up a town ending. Like, it's not even like world ending. So, in order for me to do that, I think I have to kill him. <laughs> so, what's the best way of killing Gale? <laughs> oh shit, I took poison! <laughs> oh no! Karma has an interesting way of biting me in the ass, doesn't it? I'm gonna slowly die. <laughs> um, I wanted to throw the, there, yeah, there we go. I forgot to hit the throw button over here. Okay, well now that poison's out, um, what's fire? Mm, I feel like that's a bit too much. Oh, we do have poison, okay, we have more poison. Where's Gale? Oh, he's way over there. Shit. Okay, y'all. <laughs> Let's go get him. I'm sorry, Gale. This is for science. I missed. I missed. Okay. Not a, not a problem. Not a problem. We could just uh throw fire. That, that's a bigger reach. That is a. I don't want to char him. I'm sorry, Gale. <laughs> but I have to do what I have to do for science. Carlex probably looking at me like, what the fuck are you doing? Astarian's like, yeah, do it again! Do it again! <laughs> I'm sorry! Is he dead? Oh, he's dead. Oh, oh shit. Back up, y'all. Don't, don't cry. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay, well. Can we speak to the dead? Corpse is badly damaged. Damn it. <laughs> Okay, okay, um, wow, I feel bad for looting his stuff. Okay, um, so, there was no cutscene that happened. Is it because I killed him? I, I'm so confused, okay. I need, I probably need to get Withers. I'm not wasting a scroll on, on him, sorry, I'm, Withers! Hey, buddy! Fate spin. Dost thou require a new ally? Yeah, I think I made a mistake. Or mayhaps a resurrection. Resurrection, instead. please. I, I need a resurrection. I need you to resurrect then Gale. Thou must return. This is the price of balance. Oh! I don't have that. Very well. Oh, I don't have coin to bring someone back. Can you watch them? Thou mayest. Oh, thank God. Can you watch Gale, please? As thou wishest. 
Thank you so much, Withers. Great, I gotta start selling my stuff. I really don't want to waste a life scroll. Like, what if I die? You know? I, I need someone to resurrect me. Gail's fine. Withers has him. Y'all just stay- uh. Yep, just stay away. <laughs> stay away from Gail's tent right now. Astarian, if you need to move, I understand. Um, I was really hoping for that cutscene. Um, okay. How much do I have? Oh. I only have- okay. I could just sell a few things, right? Yeah. Okay, so the only vendor that I know off the top of my head is all the way in the Act 1 region. So I tried going there, and then the game just brought me back to the campsite. It does not want me going back there right now. I don't know why. I, I'm trying to save you, Gail. If you had just gave me the cutscene, I, I would have been able to save you, but no! You would be difficult! And now you're dead! Your lifeless body is just at camp right now. I'm not using a, a scroll of revival. I need those. Because if I die, I need someone to revive me. That's, that's how this works. I guess I'll go to bed. I, oh, it's a cutscene. That's why. Is this it? <laughs> How the fuck did you find me? Supreme Kithrak. Has Vlakith sent you to slay me with your own blade? I've not come to kill you, Lazel. I've come to aid you. I'm sorry. What? Don't trust him. Oh my god, it's pulling the dream visitor move. Skakak Kir Gith Shabeleth. My blade rests. Mother Gith compels you to listen. I think he's talking to you, Lazel. Speak. My ear is yours. I know you carry the astral prism, Lazel. Within it lies the seed of Vlakith's demise. And I intend to help you bring it to fruition. Really? Vlakith's demise? Shkaketh! I should run you through for suggesting it. I apologize, Kithrak. Um, she's going through a lot right now. What are you asking of us, Voss? I'm asking for your help and your trust. I've heard word from Kresh Yulik. You are infected, yet the one in the prism has chosen you, protects you with their power. Who told you this? The prism's tenant alone has the power to end Vlakith's tyranny. I've sought their freedom for eons. When the prism went missing, I feared the worst. Instead, you've granted the opportunity I've so long awaited. All that remains is the key that unchains them. And I've found someone who I believe can provide it. Bring the prism to Boulder's Gate. I'll be waiting in a tap room called Shares's Caress. That is where we decide the fate of our people. Okay. Lazel, together we will break our chains and be Vlakith's slaves no longer. I am no slave, just still Kithrak. The Undying Queen is my freedom. It is she who will purify me and she who will ascend me. Lies, Lazel, every last one. There is no purification, no ascension. The Zaith Isk does not purify, it extracts memory and kills the infected. Nor does the Lich Queen glorify the Ascended. She feeds on most all of them to grow her power and pursue godhood. Oh, shit. Madness. You flood me with this... this heresy. I... I will hear no more of it. Lysel, you went into the Zaithiths yourself. It tried to kill you. Listen, if he betrays us, you have my permission to kill me. I served Vlakith the whole of my life. Learned her words, fought her battles, yet she names me her Sharlak. Your words carry truth. 
I will meet you in Baldur's Gate. Do not make me regret it. Sir, I need to apologize. I called you ugly in the beginning, and you still are, but you're all right, man. Lazel, I see Talakma gear in you, sister in freedom. Ooh. Together, we will be our people's light. Ooh, I like that. Take this. It is a Quanith. What is that? A psionic detector. Oh! The Queen's warriors hunt you. The Quanith will sound you out when you come near their portals. Hear its cry and prepare for battle or slip away. Good looking out, man. Thank you. I should go. Vlakith's gaze pierces the seas and skies. She believes me loyal, and I can't afford her mistrust. Keep the astral prism close. Let no one take it from you. Slay any who try. Yes, sir. Now to Baldur's Gate. I'll be waiting, Lazo. Goodbye! I'm glad we're friends now. Ooh. Oh, that's so cool. I wish we can teleport to Baldur's Gate. Lazo, I am so proud of you right now. Vlakith cost seven crath crash head. Only in Vlakith may we find light. These were the first words I ever read on Tirsu's slate. But they are no mere aphorism. They are law. They are creed. The root from which the 10,000 protocols stem. Forsake one protocol and forsake Vlakith. Forsake Vlakith and be the blood and meat which sates her dragons. If Vos speaks true, if Ascension is a lie, if tadpole purification is a fairy tale, then I have not sinned against Vlakith. She has sinned against me. Go off, sis. Go off. Can I ask what does Ascension entail exactly? Ascension is a young Gith Yankee's greatest honor. Long ago, the Gaith enslaved my people. They dominated our minds and bred us for war until great mother Gith took a hammer to our bonds. From the day of our hatching, young Gith have one purpose, to train hard enough to slay a Gaith and take its head. Then we speak the rite of ascension, and a red dragon comes to fly us to Vlakith in Tunarath, city of death. We are honored with an eternal home in the astral, celebrated for our victory. We are ascended, or so I believed. I think liberating the people is a better title than ascending. That suits you perfectly, Lazo. So Voss called Vlakith a tyrant. Does that mean you agree? I never thought Vlakith a tyrant or me as a vassal. She was the source of my might and I the envoy of her will. A warrior, a champion, a destroyer. You still are. But if Voss is right and Vlakith consumes the Ascended to gain power, then I am no destroyer. I am mere livestock, bred to be harvested and devoured. Every Githyanki is a slave with a singular purpose. Not to cull the Gaith, not to prevent their grand design, but to raise Vlakith to true godhood. So that's how she gets her power. She just takes it from other people. That sucks. Who is the one in the prism, do you think? I don't know. I can't know. And that drives me mad. Me too. At first, I thought them an illithid deception, a trick of the tadpole. But the dream figure is real. It lives in the prism. Vos believes they are the seed of Vlakith's demise and the agent of Githyanki freedom. And I believe he may be right. I mean, he may be right, but what if he's wrong? What if this is like a trap? Then, when the Kithraki come for me, and come they will, I will submit to their blades. They would feed me to their dragons, and I would deserve no better. That's not gonna happen. I don't see you as dragon food. Yes. I'd like time to think. Okay. We'll meet Kithrak Voss at Charesse's Caress in Baldur's Gate. Until then, be vigilant. Vlakith's eyes are upon us. Let our eyes be upon us. We'll be ready for it. Good night, everyone. Oh, Jesus. Gale's dead bodies in the background. Yeah, well, 
we'll find the vendor tomorrow. Is that Scratch? Did he find something for me? Where's he at? <gasps> hey, buddy! What'd you got? The dog wags his tail, a small bag clenched between his teeth. You're near Gail's body, buddy. Just give it to me. What'd you find? He gives in and surrenders his find to you. Ooh, you gave me some sandals! Oh, you're such a good boy. Oh, you're so cute. Scratch's tongue lolls out happily, his tail wagging even faster. Oh, you're such a good boy. Dad.